Hey everybody, welcome back to Back Max Eye, and in this episode, I'm going to be doing a Back Max Eye Archives, which is basically just, I take an old book that I used to do chemistry out of, as in, I made sort of my own experiments, and also I have a few pyrotechnic formulas inside. I blurred out my last name for a good reason, because that's special. As you can see, there's some pyrotechnic mixture formulas. Uh, don't look at any of that explosive stuff. Pfft, that's not unimportant. Uh, there's some incorrect calculations all over the place. And finally, we get to the exciting part. Fire part two, apparently, according to my younger self, like two or three years ago. So, this is what we're going to be making today. I figured this got to be pretty interesting. So, it's going to be five parts potassium nitrate, three parts sulfur, two parts aluminum, and unknown <laughs> potassium permanganate parts, apparently, because back then I didn't have a scale. So, I couldn't measure by mass. And now, let's look at the instructions. We're going to combine the first three chemicals in a mortar and pestle until a uniform color occurs. And then we're going to add the potassium permanganate in small increments and mix them. Obviously you can read, but I'm still helping you out fam. The powder's ready when there's a reasonable density of potassium permanganate particles. And then we light with a magnesium ribbon. Uh, we stand back apparently, and it's also good that we wear a welding mask. But that got really dusty and I threw it away. Let's go to the lab. All right, here's everything that we're gonna need in one big shot. We're gonna need potassium nitrate, and I'm getting that from a stump remover. And next, I'm using sulfur powder and aluminum powder, and finally, the potassium permanganate. Now that I showed you all the chemicals that we're gonna need, let's go measure them out using volume thanks to me not ever having a scale back in the day. And we're gonna take first the five parts of potassium nitrate, three parts of sulfur, and two parts of aluminum, and mix them together, and then combine that with the potassium permanganate. Now what I'm doing right here is putting out an excess of potassium nitrate that I can then measure from later. Now, here's the mortar and pestle. And finally, let me scoop in five little scoops of potassium nitrate. As you can see, next is three volume parts of sulfur powder. Here's what we have so far. And finally, the aluminum. Uh, this is where it starts getting theoretically dangerous, where the oxidizer has a lot of fuel uh, in contact with it. But don't be alarmed, I've never been affected by it, so uh, who knows if it's real. No, just kidding, don't get triggered. Now let's combine them, and sadly I forgot to film the addition of potassium permanganate, but you'll get over it. Anyway, here's what the pyrotechnic composition looks like. Now let's add it to the professionally durable cookie container lid. And then we're gonna put a little piece of magnesium in it. Oh, okay, thanks. Anyway, just fix that. Whoa there, okay. Now I'm gonna light it and just let you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching this video of Back Maxi Archives Episode 1, and uh, tell me if you liked this. Um, let me know in the comments, drop a like, whatever, I'm not begging, but do it now.